The nation is severely divided as any, uh, anybody can see at this juncture. And uh, these are the same tactics that every communist manifesto uses in the beginning, one of the many factors too, and you guys can research that yourself. It's the playbook has always been there. The, the results at the end of co communism, the end always ends the same way. The disillusion of the Soviet Union perhaps, and I was right there as a Cold Warrior for many years. Uh, it, that's, that's what happens when communis communism runs its course too. What's happening to our country right now is very analogous to the collapse of the Soviet Union. Go ahead and look at the, it, it's not only analogous, it looks like the playbook is instituted in our own country too. Go and compare the demise of the erstwhile Soviet Union with what is happening in our country right now in terms of, of splitting the country in half ideologically. Uh, who's doing this? Well, the media is doing this. And who are, who are they doing their bidding for? World Economic Forum, agenda, UN Agenda 21, and now it's being instituted here. And don't think you're gonna stop it as an individual or as a group, folks. It's too big. It's too all-consuming. We can't do it together anymore. That's why I'm saying you know, it's, it's gonna be a very, very, very rough road ahead. European Union is, is, is now uh, standardizing the COVID passes, the travel passes, that will come to the States too. And as I mentioned before, if you don't have a pass like that, whether it's on your iPhone or whether it's a, a, a yellow star here, you're not gonna go, walk into a restaurant, you're not gonna walk into a stadium or any business establishment. That's what's coming too, without that. It's very funny because people who are, are vaccinated one or two times with any of the newer vaccines, they can still, 30% of them nominally are still carriers. What sense does it make to vaccinate someone and let them out into the public among those people who are not vaccinated? No, it's all, it, it, it's all as, as you might have guessed or, or maybe you haven't had time to look around because you're too busy trying to survive and keep your family uh, pantry fill, fill, that it's, it's all designed for control. This particular virus, and by the way, once again, it was not engineered to be uh, a, a released biological warfare vector. This thing did escape from the Wuhan lab. It wasn't, it was, it, as I, I mentioned this before, the Wuhan lab, funded in part by uh, US universities and, and grants, it was a dual purpose lab. It was, it was doing the same thing that laboratories all over the world do, research highly infectious diseases, epidemiologically speaking. But the dual use part was looking at offensive weapons to be able to develop that offensive weapon, the way they tweaked that particular coronavirus, looking at it as a possible weapon, that is what escaped from the laboratory and caused this worldwide pandemic.